Next here on the lineup tonight, the fates of two Buffalo police officers rest now in the hands of a jury of their peers. Attorneys made closing arguments today in the case against Raymond Krug and Joseph Wendell, who are accused of using excessive force in the 2009 arrest of four teenagers. Our Joshua Robinson was in court all day to hear both sides make their final case. Prosecutors making their final case today claiming Raymond Krug shot a 17 year old once in the leg with a BB gun in the back of a police car as Joseph Wendell egged him on to shoot the teen again near his genitals. Along with the teen's ER and physician reports, the prosecution relied on a pair of testimonies, one from a Buffalo firefighter who claimed Wendell admitted to the shootings and the second from retired police lieutenant Gregory Kwiatkowski, who was at the scene with them. The defense pointed to Kwiatkowski's own history of violence and anger management issues while on the job, trying to paint reasonable doubt that he could have been involved in the shooting as well. Kwiatkowski previously accepted a plea deal for his role in the case, but defense attorneys tried poking holes in his argument and the arguments of the four key victims pointing to a history of inconsistent statements while under oath. Judge William Scretney offered final instructions for the jury just after 2.30 today before handing the case over to them to make their final decision. Joshua Robinson, Channel 2 News. Joshua, thank you. Of course, we're going to be keeping a close eye on the jury as deliberations still continue, and we will let you know when they do have a verdict.